Another really famous and historical motorcycle or scooter brand returned to the uh, world's markets, Lambretta, which uh, was founded uh, many decades ago, more or less together with Vespa. And uh, during the times and years, they were close rivals of each other. The only difference is that Lambretta disappeared and now they returned and on the market again. To understand the scooter itself, we have to know a little bit the history of the brand. Uh, of course, when uh, uh, Lambretta was founded uh, after the Second World War, together with Vespa, it was a solution for the mobility. And uh, afterwards, uh, later on, a few decades later, both of the brands became uh, much close to a style icon than just a uh, mobility, so just a scooter. And especially Lambretta was always a little bit uh, positioned over Vespa, it was a style, it was uh, a picture of the Italian individualism and uh, the same picture is uh, brought here now uh, after the re-burning of the brand. The sad year when Lambretta finished the production was 1997 and after several years uh, the Austrian brand and group KSR uh, bought the name or got the name and uh, that's how the brand Lambretta was reborn. Italian designers, Swedish designer and designers and even uh, the Kiska, the Austrian Kiska studio uh, worked on the form of it. And the first model of the reborn new brand is the V125 Special. The model is existing uh, in three different uh, versions. Uh, the smallest one has a 50 cubic centimeter engine. The middle one, this one, exactly this test bike, has a 125 cubic centimeter engine. And there is an even bigger one which is called uh, 200, but the uh, capacity of that one is somewhere around 170 cubic centimeters. Well, let's check out the Lambretta V125 special while riding. We have a pretty small one cylinder engine, air cooled. The maximum power output is 10.2 uh, brake horsepower, and the maximum torque is 9.2 Newton meter. And this is enough to normal, let's say, traffic place changing. So it's not a racing scooter, it's a uh, but it is able to ride away from the traffic when the light is changing, the traffic light is changing. Uh, we can accelerate to speed up to a little bit over 100 kilometers per hour, even with this extremely big windshield and my uh, over 100 kilogram body. So the, the dynamism of the vehicle, we can say it's enough. All in all, the V125 Special is a relatively small, uh, very compact scooter, but not uncomfortable. You can see that I'm a really tall guy and I'm sitting really comfortable uh, in the seat and I have enough space everywhere. Um, but all in all, the bike's overall length is uh, under 190 centimeters, so shorter than me. Uh, the wheelbase is also under uh, 140 centimeters and it means that it's a really compact, short and very well maneuverable uh, scooter, but not this is the really strong point of it and that's why we are not going to speak about the brake horsepower and anything else in the beginning, but the design because this is the most important part of the Lambretta. The suspension is a very very simple suspension. The normal scooter suspension in the front is, uh, I think this is maybe one of the weakest po points of the whole vehicle because it's a little bit too hard especially on the road bumps the positive road mistakes it really hits your hands uh, the whole vehicle would be uh, I think worse for a little bit better front suspension the rear section is not that bad so that's much closer to let's say uh, acceptable the design of the whole bike is really unbelievably beautiful you can watch the whole silhouette, the overall picture, and you can watch any spare parts of it, which all of them are really looking great. Just have a look at this main light. Uh, of course, LED technology, because we are in a 21st century, but as Lambretta is written here. Of course, the uh, not serial equipment, uh, big, big windshield, the brand is also written there. This uh, luggage keeper, 
uh, you can also see Lambretta made in Italy. Of course, the whole bike is not made in Italy. It's uh, produced somewhere in the Far East. But anyhow, this spare part is, for example, produced in Italy. And you can see proudly the original Innocenti SA uh, logo of uh, the company. And all the picture of the bike is really looking great. And uh, just as originally in the Lambretta scooters it was all the time, these main parts uh, are produced from uh, iron and uh, only the colorful parts of this bicolor version, the red ones, are made from plastic because these spare parts can be changed. So if you buy a bicolor, for example, red and white like this, and uh, after a few years you say you do not want this color combination anymore, then you can change the red parts to blue ones, to carbon uh, fiber uh, decor and anything you wish. So all in all it's absolutely enough, the front is not the best. The brake system is uh, also absolutely a basic thing. We have two disc brakes, the front one is a little bit bigger than the rear one. And uh, we have a one channel ABS, it means that uh, the front wheel has an ABS sensor, the rear one doesn't have. So, uh, if you are uh, braking you can lock the rear wheel, but it's not a really big uh, problem. Because the bike has uh, as a serial equipment Pirelli tires, which have such great grip that it's even hard to brake the front wheel until uh, locking. And uh, the whole brake system is totally combined, so the front brake is working to the rear and the rear to the front as well. I think uh, the two brake levels are connected with some cable in the, uh, under the front plastic, so the whole system is working like that. We can say this is enough. But you can watch anywhere on the scooter, all the parts are very high quality, very well designed and, and really beautiful. Just have a look at the grips. They are thicker here, the design of it, the really good grip and uh, the Lambretta is also here, the brake levers, really well designed. All the switchers, for example, uh, we have a very very simple um, very very simple let's say board computer uh, on the dashboard the dashboard is is i have to say it's not really clever because uh, here we have an rpm counter in the middle of the lcd but this rpm counter as this is a cvt transmission scooter is absolutely not an important info but uh, uh, the speed would be much more important but you can read it much worse from the rider's position but anyhow this is a nice and informative uh, uh, dashboard and for example the simple computer uh, the only button is produced like this so you cannot move this uh, set anywhere this is only a button with which you can change between the trip and the overall counter uh, and on the, on the other side for example the indicator level uh, is working like that that uh, of course I can sign to this side this side and switch it off with the middle button but uh, the main light switcher is also working like that that i am uh, switching to high beam and uh, flash like this so all the parts are really designed beautifully uh, not different uh, from the very nice seat uh, by the way we have two different uh, uh, possibilities to keep our luggage the smaller one for a mobile phone or wallet or anything is uh, in the front part of the bike and here is an immobilizer switch so if you switch it to lock then uh, nobody can steal your bike with its own engine and uh, we can open the seat also from the with the main key and under the seat we have a, let's say a one person storage so one helmet or rain suit and uh, spare gloves and anything else and also here is the six liter fuel tank uh, which can be opened like this very very uh, stylish and uh, nice way and all in all the whole Lambretta uh, scooters most important points are not the engine the dynamism the the brakes or anything like this but the looking of the whole bike the feeling what you what you really feel when you are riding it when you are just sitting uh, on it 
and uh, for example going to work or sit down in a coffee house and take a coffee and then you when you watch through the vehicle or even sit here watch the dashboard and everything else and you all the time feel that I am sitting on a stylish and great looking uh, scooter and it's simply a different feeling to uh, ride from A to B with this one than with any other uh, scooter and this is the most important thing uh, related to the Lambretta V125 Special. If you liked our review please push a thumb up on it in the description under the video you can find the link where you can donate our work if you do it we will send all of our films to you before they become public if you haven't done it yet please subscribe for our channel and watch our previous contents as well and thanks a lot for your kind attention